everyone, this is Grand Central Terminal and it is home to more than 750,000 commuters a day. These are the sights the city that never sleeps has to offer. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 New York City landmarks. For this list, we've covered all the tourist hotspots in the Big Apple that you have to see at least once. Number 10, Grand Central Station. Covering a total of 48 acres and acting as a hub for the city, this classy and grandiose depot is home to more platforms than any other railroad station across the globe. As an enduring favorite filming location for Hollywood, it's made scores of appearances in countless television shows and cinematic blockbusters, as a much frequented location even on screen. Grace! you know it was a Grand Central Station? You're not. You're in Los Angeles, where this movie was shot. Catering to over 20 million commuting locals and visitors each year, Grand Central Terminal aptly sits as one of the 10 most visited tourist attractions in the world. Number 9. Coney Island. My analyst says I exaggerate my childhood memories, but I swear I was brought up underneath the roller coaster in the Coney Island section of Brooklyn. Situated on the southwestern end of Brooklyn, this peninsula is the ultimate outdoor leisure and entertainment destination for city residents. Connecting a few of New York's major beaches, the seaside resort has attracted countless millions each year ever since opening in the 1880s and continues to be a favorite tourist destination. Home to a string of amusement parks, Coney also plays host to some of the U.S.'s most iconic historical gems in the world of theme parks, including the Wonder Wheel and the Cyclone Roller Coaster. These are just two among a handful of amusement park attractions recorded in the National Register of Historic Places. Number 8. The Brooklyn Bridge That, my friend, is a miracle! What? It's a miracle, man! It's a bridge. Finished in 1883, this cable-stayed superstructure was the first steel wire suspension bridge ever built, and it connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn. With more than 120,000 vehicles, 4,000 pedestrians, and 3,000 cyclists crossing it each day, the Brooklyn Bridge is the second busiest bridge in New York City, and today it stands as one of the city's finest architectural marvels. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1964 and a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark in 1972. Although oily characters have often tried to sell the bridge to unsuspecting rubes for a bargain, the Brooklyn Bridge remains a priceless New York landmark. Number 7. The New York Public Library, Main Branch The center of the fourth largest library system in the world, the New York Public Library's main chapter is the organization's largest and most visited. Officially the Stephen A. Schwartzman Building, the central branch was opened in 1911 at the corner of 5th Avenue and 42nd Street, adjacent to the local favorite Bryant Park. What does he got? This is big, Peter. This is very big. There's definitely something here. Egon, this reminds me of the time you tried to drill a hole through your head. Do you remember that? That would have worked if you hadn't stopped me. Another favorite destination for Hollywood films hoping to situate themselves within the city. The flagship library is a lively character in its own right. Featuring the famous Rose Main Reading Room and being declared a National Historic Landmark in 1965. Number 6. Fifth Avenue Stretching from the neighborhoods of Harlem to Greenwich Village, this bustling boulevard is 6.2 miles of landmarks, lavish apartments, and luxurious retail boutiques. Home to iconic American treasures, including the illustrious St. Patrick's Cathedral and the celebrated Rockefeller Center, there is no shortage of ornamental reverence along this flamboyant thoroughfare. It boasts dozens of flagship stores and department emporiums from some of the fashion industry's most prestigious names, including Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Lord & Taylor. Fifth Avenue has continually endured as one of the U.S.'s busiest and most expensive shopping promenades. So prepare to bid your savings a fond farewell. Warbucks don't live on Fifth Avenue. You don't? Where does he live? Street. Street. Number 5. The Metropolitan Museum of Art Home to many memorable museums, including the Guggenheim and the Museum of Modern Art, New York City is renowned for its embrace of the arts. 
However, with all due respect to the other artistic institutions, nothing compares with the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Casually referred to as the Met, this 2 million square foot realm of awe-inspiring works is the largest art museum in the country and one of the most visited in the world. With a generous pay-what-you-wish admission, this galaxy of galleries sees an annual average of 5 million visitors every year. Number 4. The Empire State Building Measuring 1,250 feet to the base of its spire, this iconic skyscraper surpassed the equally renowned and artfully decorative, or Art Deco, Chrysler Building as the tallest in the world in 1931, a title it held for over 40 years. A national landmark, the Empire State Building was ranked number one on the American Institute of Architects list of America's favorite architecture in 2007. Today, it stands as the fifth tallest freestanding structure in the Americas. Its outdoor observatory is especially popular, having been visited by over 100 million guests over its lifetime. Number 3. The Statue of Liberty Positioned on the appropriately titled Liberty Island in New York Harbor, Lady Liberty has stood as a colossal welcoming beacon for immigrants and returning citizens since the 1880s. The statue's astonishing interior is open to the public for tours. However, only a limited number of people are permitted to ascend to her crown each day. The neoclassical beauty of Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi's masterpiece can also be appreciated from all around, including back in the mainland's Battery Park and especially at sunset. Number 2. Central Park Despite having over 1,700 public parks, including the historical Union, Washington, Gramercy, and Madison Square Parks, selecting the essential must-visit among them all was no contest. Situated in the heart of Manhattan, Central Park is one of the most filmed and photographed locations in the world. <laughs> The park blissfully blends nature with beauteous buildings in the background, including the world-famous Plaza Hotel. Covering 843 acres, it's actually only the city's fifth largest park, but it's the United States' most popular, receiving approximately 37 million visitors roaming across her majestic grounds each year. It seemed my future was finally set. A Central Park bag lady I would be. At least I'd finally get to live in Manhattan. Before we visit our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Construction began in April 2006, and the first half-mile stretch of the park opened to the public in June of this year. It's a park that really celebrates the city, and people up here will walk 20 blocks, and which they would never do 30 feet below us. The pools are surrounded by bronze panels inscribed with the names of the nearly 3,000 people who died in the attacks of 2001 and a World Trade Center bombing in 1993. Number one, Times Square. Oh, my God. oh, you're showing me Times Square. This is not touristy at all. I would just shush. Come on. With nicknames like the heart of the world and the center of the universe attached to it, there was never any question that this bright and blazing intersection would take the top spot. As the central hub for New York's glorified Broadway district, as well as a major crossroads for all things entertainment, Times Square draws in an annual average of 50 million visitors. Even a slow day sees 300,000 pass through. With an abundance of prominent names and landmarks, this neon illuminated destination is proof that New York is truly the Empire State. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Which landmarks in New York City are on your must-visit list? For more travel top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it?
wonder what? Whether she's naked under that toga? She's French. You know that.